Today is the grand reopening of the 418 Squadron History Gallery at the museum. After about a year of work, we have renovated our gallery and turned it into a history gallery to tell the whole story of 418 City of Edmonton Squadron from its inception in 1941 to its disbandment in 1994 and how it continues today as an association. The squadron has a long history to, to the City of Edmonton. Uh, they were adopted by the city in 1944 and after the Second World War, they were reformed as a reserve squadron and operated out of the very hangar that the Alberta Aviation Museum operates in today. Uh, when they operated from this hangar, the Air Force had a huge role to play at the city center airport. Later on, they operated mostly as a transport and search and rescue squadron. Our very special guest uh, is named Linus, and he's a stand-in for LAC Butch, which stood for Leading Aircraftsman Butch. And Butch was the squadron mascot. He was found as a stray here at the airport in 1955 and adopted by the squadron. And we had Al Colby here today, who was the squadron member that ended up finding him and, and helped raise him. And he was the only dog in the RCIF that had his own parachute, uh, which was custom made by one of our uh, squadron members. Well, I found him on the outside of the hangar, Brought him in the hangar here, and this, everybody in the hangar became part of him. We nursed him back to health. And he looked after this place like no tomorrow. He flew everywhere with us. Butch flew everywhere with his parachute on. Whoever made it for him was able to, we could connect it in the airplane. When he jumped out, it would work. 